Yo guys, what is going on? Blossom is back and today I'm going to do a series and a kind of video where a lot of you have been asking for for a while and now I'm proud and happy to bring it to you and that is going to be me reviewing, giving feedback and all that good stuff to your garage. So basically how this is going to work is that each episode I'm going to uh, review one or two garages uh, depending on how long the video is and how big the garages are and then uh, after I give you my feedback and have a look at it, I'm going to give each garage a score. Uh, this is actually called the Blossom score, which is totally me not ripping off uh, what you would call it, Doug DeMuro at all. In fact, Doug DeMuro is actually a huge inspiration. So uh, I will explain how the scoring works once we actually score something. Uh, so first of all, first uh, episode, first ever garage I'm going to review was sent over to me by Supercars of the Day on Instagram. Uh, he showed me his nice little garage here today and we're going to go through it. So looking at his comments, uh, all of them seem to be max. He has a Mercedes-Benz 600, very, very useful car uh, and that is all the commons all right uh, moving on to the uncommons as you can see here we have some very key cars we have the Plymouth GTX we got two master units roadsters uh, two twizzies as well and an auto Zam. Uh, that Grand Am actually looks really good as well, 86 handling. I'll have to make a note on that because I don't own that. Uh, hopefully that has been ground clearance. Um, you know, what I will say is max out that second Twizy, but you look set uh, for what you have. Uh, you also have a Chevrolet Impala SS427 and a couple other rares as well. Uh, so looking at the rares, it looks like you have some key ones. You have the Mazda MX-5 BBR Turbo as well as the BMW Z4 Drive uh, S-Drive 18i. Uh, those two cars are definitely keepers. Uh, and if any of my viewers, you know, if you guys watching, you don't have either the BBR and the Z4, you guys got to get it. Those cars are great, so it's nice to see you have it as well. Now, the Cadillac Escalade. This is a car I don't see very often in many people's garages. It's nice to see that you have one. Uh, in my personal opinion, I think the Cadillac Escalade is a great car. Uh, not a lot of rares have the uh, high ground clearance uh, combined with four-wheel drive and standard tires. This car also has a pretty good 0-60, to 60, which makes it pretty, pretty good. Uh, pretty, pretty interesting car to have as well. You also have the Lamborghini Islero S. I don't know what to feel about that. I don't own that car, but the 0-60 to 60 looks very, very nice. However, what really caught my eye was indeed that Maserati Ghibli SS. Uh, this is an Italian Renaissance rare that has been eluding me for a very, very long time, and I really want this. It's a very good car, very nice MRA, and I mean, I think, I can only hope that that is maxed out 996. I'm not too sure, uh, since I don't have one maxed out as well, but as you can see here, this picture is almost perfect. I would say it's like 90% perfect because he has the Mercedes-Benz 280, Ford Mondeo, Lotus Elise 1.6, Subaru XT, all maxed out. Um, very, very fundamental rare cars. Uh, the Mazda RX-8 is also very, very strong. So if I were you, I'd max it out as soon as possible. So uncommon, max out the Twizy, rare, max out the Mazda. Max it out 969, it's going to hit upon 91 handling, you won't regret it. Uh, moving on to the super rares, uh, you know, one thing that really caught my eye here is that Suzuki X90. I don't see a lot of Suzuki X90s around, let alone them being maxed out, as well as the Jimmy. Uh, Jimny or Jimmy? It's uh, Jimmy. Jimny! That's right, the Suzuki Jimny. Um, these two cars I don't see maxed out very often. Just please tell me you max it out when they were rare. If not, if you maxed them out when they were super rare, I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, so that's pretty unique. I don't see that a lot. The C2R2 Citroen is obviously a very good car. It's nice to see that you have two maxed out, meaning that you know the importance of it. Uh, I will max out that El Camino though. I, I know I know, as an El Camino, you only use it for drags. The handling isn't gonna mean anything, uh, but you never know when you might need it in a city street or a fast circuit. And if you put that car up against a maxed out El Camino, you're gonna lose and that's you know 50 points you can easily avoid also my ocd is going crazy because that el camino is not maxed out uh, the dodge caliber rt that car is usually slept on is actually really good four wheel drive good handling standard tires as well used to be rq15 now 16. uh moving on is you know we see another page of basically just maxed out super rares which is very nice to see um I see a very nice variety here. I like it. I see performance tires. I see standard tires. I see off-road tires. I see different levels of ground clearances. It's very nice. I like what I'm looking at. So, you know, you're doing a good job, the super rares. Uh, moving on, we have another uh, page of super rares, and they're all very, very nice as well. We have the Renault 4x4, Porsche Boxster. You know, this is a lot of key cars. A lot of good key cars you have maxed out, and that is very, very nice. You also have two maxed out Datsun Rally cards, which is one more maxed out Datsun Rally card than I have. And, uh, you know, I'm also a very advanced player, so 
what am I doing with my garage? Uh, but it's nice to see you have two maxed out Datsuns. That's very nice. Let's move on to ultra rares. Everything looks really fundamental here. Um, you know, you got the Caterham, you got the R32, the Trailblazer, the Lotus Elise. Very nice to see. Um, all right. Whoa. Okay. That's really unique. Chevrolet Corvette C5 maxed out 996. I have to be certain that's 996 because I know that car hits 89 handling, man, but I see 86 and I see three stars. I'm wondering what happened there. Um, probably a very big mistake. Um, but hey, gives the gar uh, gives the garage character, and it gives the garage a bit of uniqueness as well. So it's nice to see. Uh, you also have that Lancia Delta S4. I don't know how good of a car that is, but I think it just looks gorgeous. So if I were you, I'd max it out. But I don't know if it's important. Porsche 924 is very nice. You also have the Ford Escort Rally spec, among other things, and the Porsche 911 RS. Um, once again, you know, kind of like the Super Rares, I see a huge variety. I see all surface. I see off road. Uh, I see performance tires, and I see. Ooh, do I? see standard tires anywhere i see one i see that bmw and i do see that caterham okay what i would say is invest in another standard tire ultra rare i don't see a lot of that uh so supercars you know if you're watching this video hopefully you are because uh, i'm reviewing your whole garage um definitely uh invest in a standard tire car oh i'm i would say rq22 uh, you know, what I can think of is the Citroen, I think it's the Citroen, right? Uh, Citroen Metropolis, or is it DS Metropolis? It's French. Um, that's a good one. Uh, there's the uh, Mercedes, I think, like, uh, it's a Mercedes. <laughs> it's a Mercedes, I think it's an E-Class, uh, has standard tires also, uh, as well. Um, you know, just, yeah, invest in a four-wheel drive standard tire car if you can, because you don't have a four-wheel drive standard tire car. Or the Cadillac STS as well. Uh, let's move on to your Epics. So this is where the garage kind of hits its weak spot, I think, because we saw a very strong showing of ultras and uh, super rares, but not a very strong show of epics and legendaries. Obviously, you only have that one campaign car and you have a couple epics to show for. Uh, you know, it makes sense. You have 3000 trophies. You're, you know, you're in between the advanced player and the beginner player. Um, but it's very nice to see that you do have a maxed out epic the Porsche 911 GT3 Which basically just tells me you know the you know the importance of maxed out cars and it's very nice to see um, You know if you guys know me uh, you gotta max out that Cadillac CT6 man if, if you have an epic that you want to max out and you know you have limited ultra rares um, you know, I'm gonna do you a favor right now. Max out that CT6. Once you max out that CT6, you know, then focus on other cars. Uh, maybe max out that roof, I would have to say. Um, because those are really all the epics you have. Uh, the Super Imprezas might come in handy. I, I wouldn't really recommend maxing them out, but they have that four wheel drive as well as medium ground clearance capability, uh, which is something that is lacking in your epic garage. So uh, yeah, that's about it. Let's go into the ratings. So as you can see here, I have two different things. I have the blossom scale and the top drive scale. It's kind of like the weekend category and the whatever category Doug DeMuro uses. So uh, for the first garage I'm ever gonna review, supercars of the day from Instagram, uh, I'm giving you a four out of uniqueness. Um, it's a pretty basic garage, I would have to say. Uh, you know, uniqueness, I'm looking for a garage that's just different from the normal average top drives player, aka seven turbo martinis. Oh. Um, but yeah, uniqueness is four. But once again, you know, blossom scale is only relevant to like me uh, or people that want to try and get the highest score on this series. Um, at the end of the day, the top drive scale is what you want to be getting high scores in. Next one is patriotism. You know, you have some really nice American cars, you have the CT6. Uh, you have the Cadillac Escalade that you have maxed out, the rare one. Um, you also have, what else? You got the El Camino, obviously. You got to max out the El Camino, though, bro. Um, you have the Camaro Convertible as well. So I see some American cars there, but I can tell that you're not huge on American cars because, like, none of them are actually maxed. Um, so, yeah, I'll give it a 5 out of 10. Next one is character. This is basically how your garage kind of reflects you as a person. Uh, and from looking at your garage, I can't really tell... Uh, if you have a manufacturer you particularly like or a fan of, um, so it doesn't really have a lot of character. It's a very fundamental garage, and I feel like I'm saying this a lot, uh, but you have a lot of key cars, a lot of key cars maxed out, and to me it just looks like you have a garage that is uh, aimed to being, to doing as best as you can in the game. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, so let's move on to the more relevant scorings, the top drive scale. So first of all, first of all is scale. 
uh, that is basically how big your garage is. Your garage isn't very big. Your garage is kind of like the Airbnb of garages. It's very small, it's very cozy, um, but there isn't a lot of variety. Uh, there's not a lot of cars, I mean. Um, so it's a small scale, it's a four out of 10. Moving on to strength. Um, you know, for what you got, you have a really strong garage. Like I said, especially ultra rares and super rares are your strong suits here. You have a lot of those cars maxed out and it's really nice to see. In fact, for your trophy count of 3000, if I was just judging of kind of, you know, 5000 trophies and below kind of players, I would give your car, your garage strength a 10 out of 10. But you know, at the end of the day, when it comes to these scorings, I have to do it from a general basis. So I'm kind of putting you against people's garages that maybe have like 30,000 trophies or even my garage in general. So, you know, that kind of ducks quite a bit of points. Uh, but six out of 10 is still very, very strong for a garage as small as yours and for a trophy count as low as yours. That's not an insult in any way. It's just pure facts. Uh, moving on is versatility. You know, once again, I'm going off what you have here. You have a very versatile garage. Obviously, there are a lot of key cars you're missing out on. But in terms of what you have, it is indeed very versatile. Like I said, I see a lot of, you know, different sets of tires, different sets of ground clearances, um, set for different tracks as well as events. So it's nice to see. Uh, but once again, you know, if that scale, if you could get more cars in your garage, the points in your strength and versatility as well as that L word that I can't pronounce, lethality, lith lith lethality, I'm just gonna call it potency, um, would also go up. So next one is potency. You know, you have quite the dangerous garage, but it's not going to really be a tier one in any final, uh, just to put it in, you know, as easy as possible. It won't be a tier one in any final, not that I know of, at least from what I've seen. Uh, it's more versatile than it is potent if I would put it that way, because potency is basically you have one very strong category you can wreck everyone in, which is basically 2000 US cars for me, uh, or just American cars in general. Uh, last one is potential, however, and gave you the highest score possible on this list of eight. Um, you know, you have a very good foundation, very good foundation in your garage. Uh, I see a lot of key cars you have maxed out, 924, Rally, Datsun, um, you know, El Camino, a lot of, you know, maxed out fundamental cars. And, you know, moving on when you move on with the game, I feel like you have a good stepping stone to go off to. So I'll give you an 8 out of 10, giving you a total score on the top drive scale of 30 and a total score on the Blossom score, combining both the top drive scale and the Blossom scale. This one is actually, I had a quick look-see already, quite an interesting one. Uh, this is from withcars underscore Subaru from Instagram, and he sent me over this very interesting looking garage. It has zero trophies. He has a million cash and a lot of cars. So let's get into it. So we're starting off the commons. Nothing too special here. A lot of common cars, a lot of uncommon cars. If you can see why I'm going through so quickly, kind of just skipping over all these cars is because he has a lot of cars, guys, but like none of them are actually maxed. As you can see, none of them are basically, mostly, like most of them aren't even touched at all. <laughs> Let's look at the Volkswagens here. He has like a couple Volkswagens, not a single upgrade in them. He has, you know, the Z4, which isn't even maxed out, although it has to be maxed out. Um, I think the only other maxed car I've seen besides the Subaru uh, SVX is the Renault Twizy that he has maxed out. Once again, just so many cars especially for someone that has zero trophies just a lot of cars very big garage but just just nothing nothing's maxed out i see a lot of two stars and some one stars here and there it's all very messy um and it's really messing with my ocd right now you have a bro you have a lotus elise 1.6 that you don't even have maxed out you have a 280 ge not even maxed out i mean you got a lot of key cars here but they're not going to do anything for you unless you max them out um, you know, the Ford Escort Rally Spec, that's max, that's nice to see. And once again, just a lot of rares. And now we move on to super rares. You know, we have, once again, some key cars. The Bora needs to be maxed. The El Camino needs to be maxed. Um, what else? We just, this is just a lot of cars. Like, you open, it feels like you've just opened a lot of packs and done just nothing after that. I mean... I don't know what to say. You have zero trophies, but you're definitely not the beginner player because 
this requires a lot of slots uh let's just put it that way once again just a lot of cars uh still haven't seen any max the renault r21 turbo europa cup that should be maxed out these mitsubishi monteros i think they're just heavily overrated they used to be rq15 uh, but i have to say when they were rq15 cars those monteros they were really really good um so i would max out one montero um let's see moving on dodge irock rt it's a nice car have a 969 91 handling medium ground clearance box hall vx220 can't go wrong with that one either the roof scr has this mra buff the suzuki swift rally spang not as good as the datsun so i'm not sure if you have the datsun but looking at all the cars you have you should have a datsun somewhere the rx7 is nice you should max the rx7 you should max the lotus 111 s you max out the mercedes-benz e320 which i have to say is a pretty useful car but i would max out that rx7 first to be honest you have a datsun so you maxed out your Mercedes-Benz E320, but you didn't max out your Datsun. You got to max out that Datsun. There's so many cars that you just need to max, but that's also because there's so many cars you haven't maxed. Uh, moving on to Ultras. Okay, that's nice to see. The Lotus, the Lotus Elise 135, at least that's maxed out. I don't know how you max it out, though, because you cut out the stats in your picture. Um, I'm getting a headache. The Trailblazer's not maxed. You got to max out that Trailblazer, dude. 996, come on uh let's see um mercedes-benz amg sl73 it's a good car i have one 996 it hits 3.60 to 60 z4 m coupe's a great car r32 but i mean none of them is you know being invested in the amg s55 that has to be maxed out it's a great car 996 good mra cadillac sts you know it's a powerful car standard tires losis carlton is a sleeper Moving on to your epics, once again, for zero trophies, man, you have a lot of epics here, but that's it. That's the last picture. So much like the first garage, you only have one legendary, and that is the 12C from the campaign. So, you know, it's obviously to me that you've finished the campaign already. But even from that, I don't think you get that many slots. Um, in terms of epics, I mean, it's kind of the same old, same old here. It's Cadillac CT6, gotta max out that Cadillac CT6. Actually, looking at all your epics, which is just these two pages, that Cadillac CT6 is probably one of the most useful cars you're gonna get. Um, it's definitely gonna propel your garage in the standard tire zone. And, uh, you know, looking at the cars you have, you have the potential of getting a very strong standard tire garage. So that CT6 is good. Uh, the Dallas Challenger SRT Hellcat wide body as well. Um, you know, I'm completely jealous that you have two my top two cars i want the most in this game uh the wide body and the ct6 hopefully i'll get one of those one day uh but yeah very nice to see you have that hellcat wide body you know usually i would say that is the car you want to max out first but with the nerf um you know it's definitely less of a priority i would say the hellcat wide body is still a very strong epic amongst what you have um but i would have to say what you really want to focus on is that ct6 and then after that ct6 probably focus on that audi rs3 or vice versa rs3 then ct6 i'll get if you want to max out the rs3 first just because it's more of a performance based car uh and then once you're done with those two you know max out that challenger wide body for sure uh, i feel like you have a lot of ultras right yeah you have a lot of ultras to go around definitely i feel like I, there's enough fuse material in your ultra rare hand to at least get an epic to one two to two stars uh maybe even three i mean looking at the fuse material here that ds the bmw rq19 bmws the suzuki kakashi nissan pathfinder focus uh ford focus st montune um the 530z the m3 the bmw x5 the camaro convertible you have a lot of ultra rare fuses material so uh make sure to put that into an epic and then uh kind of yeah that's the main thing about your garage just just upgrade your car so let's move on to my ratings so my overall verdict of your garage uh with cars underscore subaru is basically what i see here is well you found the game, you finished the campaign, you bought a bunch of slots, you opened a bunch of packs, and that was it. Um, you know, it's... Uh, you, you invested in just almost absolutely nothing. Uh, and I feel like you have a great foundation, but you gotta max out those cars before your garage becomes any... Like, reaches any level of potency at all. So, uh, starting off with the Blossom scale, you actually get some pretty high scores for uniqueness and character, because... I've just never really seen a garage quite like yours. Uh, it's just rare 
to see someone with just no trophies but has a million cash has a lot of cars none of them are maxed out i feel like you're saving up for a big pack of opening of some kind which makes me scared of how many open slots you actually have if you have all those cars and you want to do a big pack opening and fit them all in again um but you know what you do you man it's a unique garage and it has character uh i wouldn't say it has a lot of patriotism i don't see a lot of american cars there um the only thing that gives it the points is the ct6 and the wide body uh, but let's move on to the top drive scale, and th this is where we see some pretty low uh, points. First one is scale. Uh, you know, I gave you a 6 out of 10 because it's a big garage. It's a very big garage, but you know, it's not a strong garage, man. Uh, none of your cars are maxed out. You have a lot of key cars not touched at all. The Datsun, the El Camino, basically just a complete contrast of um supercars garage supercars garage is very small but has a lot of maxed out key cars your garage is just really big and has just no max cars at all in terms of versatility i'm giving you the same score because you know you have a wide range of cars you really do you have a lot of cars you have a wide range of cars but none of them are actually going to win you anything because they're not maxed out uh, in terms of potency once again it's you're not you know you're not going to get tier one in any, in any event uh, if you don't max out any of those cars. In fact, if you don't max out any of those cars, you're not going to get tier 2 in any event either. Um, just max out those cars, man. Uh, and that's why I give you a potential 8. Uh, the same potential as the first garage I reviewed. Because if you max out those cars, you have a pretty strong garage, I have to say. And, you know, for zero trophy count, you're going to be fighting with some pretty low pretty easy opponents once you max out all those cars so you'd be a force to reckon with for sure um and i would see a lot of tier one finishes if you max out those cars but anyway that gives you a total score of 27 in the top drive scale and a total of 18 in the blossom scale giving you a total amount of 45 so you you know although you have a weaker garage you have a higher score and that is why the blossom scale it's just so irrelevant because if you compared it just to the top dress scale at all, um, the first garage I reviewed from Supercar has indeed the stronger garage. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the series. I uh, hope it works out well. Uh, I don't know how long this video is going to be, um, but I tried to choose the two smallest garages that were sent to me on Instagram. Uh, if I do, you know, review bigger garages, then I might have to limit to one garage per video anyway hope you guys have a great day i really uh i'm really grateful for all the support and i hope you guys have a great day i said that twice i'll see you all next time blossom out